We are back in Las Vegas 2022 after three long years. Innovation continues to drive the future of our industry at an accelerated pace. Fast, furious, and constant, we have everything you could possibly imagine right here at NAV. Ashley with In Broadcast. Joining me is Susanna Brady of Cobalt. Hello. Hi, how are you doing? Very good, thank you. Thanks for having us over. Uh, first off, I would like to say happy anniversary to you. Yes, thank you so much. We are celebrating our 25th anniversary and this NAB, so uh, quite excited and doing some fun things throughout the week, so. Yes, and you have a lot of new things here right now. Tell me a little bit about that. We do, well, um, one of the, the first thing we're showing here, at the beginning of the booth, is our partnership with Technicolor. Uh, we've been using Advanced by Technicolor's technology for a few years now. Um, they have um, launched ITM a few years ago, Intelligent on Mapping, for SDR to HDR conversion, also SL HDR. Those are um, pre-processing engines that they announced um, years prior, which we uh, integrated in our product line. Um, recently, just now, we're announcing the RITM, which is reversible inverse tone mapping, and that's um, yet adding a, a layer of um, HDR metadata. Um, so we can really do the broadcast. Um, if you have SDR displays, you get the original uh, SDR content, and if you have HDR displays, you get to leverage all the enhancements that um, the artists um, create with the H you know with the HDR um, production. So so that's been uh, a very exciting thing. People have been asking for. So it's one of the things we're showing here with our friends from Technicolor. Um, we also uh, did an integration with Dante from Audinate uh, recently. So now we have the first ever license-based 12G STI uh, bridge to Dante Audio. So as audio channels, the number of audio channels is growing. Um, it's very, very beneficial and very effective to do it audio over IP. So we're doing, we created a license and again, it goes with one of our many, many processing products that we have. So it's another cost-effective way to get into Dante. And we're also showing here our 2110, native 2110. Um, we added um, a data card, it's an add-on option to our 9904 UDX, 4K, and our 9905 UDX, which is a multi-path. And now you can have basically all the processing engine uh, that we offer in the 9904 and 9905, which includes frame sync, embedding, de-embedding, all the advanced audio processing capabilities with um, IP inputs and outputs now with the native 2110 into the into the card so that's that's very exciting and that uh, opens a lot of new doors for a lot of our customers so definitely and I have to ask you have an Emmy over on the display there so what was that for we do well we got that Emmy uh, for our wrist implementation that's um, pre um, COVID so we I, I don't think anything happened in the last couple of years as far as Emmys, but we got that right pre-COVID, and that was for our risk implementation. And um, we are also showing here, I'm, I'm glad you mentioned that, because we are one of the most active vendors on the RIST uh, activity group. RIST stands for Reliable Internet Stream Transport, and that was conceived by the VSF group, the Video Services Forum group. And um, Dr. Ciro Noroin, our executive vice president of engineering, is the president of the forum and an extremely active participant in the activity group, which is the technical specifications group. And I'm the chairman of the marketing forum. So Cobalt is all the way in. Um, RISC pretty much matches what we do at Cobalt day in, day out, which is open, open standards. It's all standards-based, non-proprietary interoperable, um, low latency, um, internet delivery over unmanaged networks pretty much. That's that's what you know the risk proposition is. And we're showing here a multi-link demo with risk on top. So when you have an internet contribution, of course there's several things that can go wrong, but if the and there's several protocols uh, to save that transmission, but if you actually have a link failure, a complete link failure, nothing would 
save it from that, except that if you do a multi-link transmission, you do two or multiple links simultaneously with the exact same content and using hopefully different service providers. And if there's a failure with one, you you sure, surely, you know, you you get one of the other links, and all you need is um, it's um, a resequencing buffer at the other end to make sure all the all the packets and all the paths are arriving in in synchrony. But other than that, it's a simple way of doing it. And now, so we implemented RIST implemented this multi-link capability using the known existing SMPTE 2022 seven seamless switching, um, but with RIST on top of it. So it does everything that the SEMTA 2022-7 does plus with RIST on top of it. So it's an extra security. And again, free of cost, open standard interoperable. So we're the first company to have our set of encoders and decoders support um, the multi-link with RIST. Nice. Well, thank you so much for all of that information and for people that do want to know more about all of these things in your products, what's your website they can go to? Yes, our website is www.cobaltdigital.com and thanks for having us. Yes, thank you, Susanna. Thank you.